Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 really awesome iPhone apps that I believe is worth downloading on your device in 2022. Most of these will be very, very useful and you will most likely find yourself using these on a daily basis. Not a fee note is the first app for this video. This one is really interesting. You can add notes to it. It's kind of like a mix between notes and reminders, but you will get the note as a notification so it will show on the screen of your device for as long as you want on the notification center of course so what you need to do you just go ahead and set the reminder right here so basically you type the note anything you want and then can you can tap here set reminder and you can also choose how fast you want it to refresh so if you let's say choose every 15 minutes you will get the notification every 15 minutes but what this does is that it will keep this as a notification on your control center so you will have your note as a notification all the time of course as long as you don't stop it so what you can do from here is of course view it just by 3d touching here you can view everything that you have typed but you can also edit it from here so just from the lock screen you want to add something you want to remove something you can just go ahead and just like that edit it without having to use the app at all so set notes as notifications anytime you need next up is magic picture in picture now this one is really cool it basically allows you to add anything you want to the picture in picture mode starting from pdf files you can open a text file image videos from your video gallery or you can show the text that you have copied on your clipboard on the picture in picture mode or show a web page that you want so what we can do right here is just go ahead and open a web page so let's just try this one let's copy this open the app here and we can go ahead and show a web page so just paste the url so anytime maybe you're writing something you need to have a website on the picture in picture mode just like that you can go ahead and add the website and here you have it on the picture in picture mode let's just do that again here so here we have the website on the picture in picture mode which is really really cool now another great thing that you can do with this app is do this with pdf pages so with pdf files actually so let's just load a pdf file once you have loaded the pdf file you can show it on the picture in picture mode but what's really great is that you can use the skip forward and backwards button to change between different pages of the pdf file so let's say you need this you're typing something you need to have your pdf file anytime anywhere you are on your ios device you can just go ahead and use this and of course switch between pages as easy as this now this right here is really cool it is called note to yourself now what this does is that it utilizes the chat system to take notes and just something you want to remind of so you can create the chats from here by tapping the plus button and then you can just type anything you need to yourself so let's say you want to remind something let's say after like an hour or so you can just type it here and then tap the clock right there and you can see after an hour tap right there you send it and then it will send you the notification just like you receive a message after an hour you will receive of course the note that you sent to yourself or you can just type it and send it here right away you can have everything you want to note right here now of course we're used to typing on things like that like iMessage and dms and things like this and this is very very convenient and very easy to note anything you want Magnet Crop is the next app for the video. This one is super useful. Anytime you want to crop a photo, you can do it very precisely with this app and the way it works is magical. So what you need to do here is load a picture from your camera roll or from your files app and you can just move the line here and you will notice when you're using this, it has like an haptic feedback which of course tells you when it stops at a line like this. So you can see how precisely I can cut this without having to struggle at all so just like that you can see how good of a job it does just basically follow the haptic feedback and you will notice when you're cutting it at the right point so it basically reads all the lines and all the shapes that are on that picture or screenshot and it will help you crop it the perfect way so what i can do right now is tap on save and i have this saved to the pictures and you can see how precisely it did cut the screenshot 
The next app for the video is called Blank Widgets. I have done a video dedicated to this app because it's amazing and it allows you to create blank spaces on your home screen without having to have any labels at all. That's really, really cool. Now, the first thing you want to do is head on to the last page on your home screen, tap the edit button and just go to the last page like this without no icons at all and simply take a screenshot right here. Now, load the app. Once you have opened the app, all you have to do is just tap here and here, and you can just go ahead and load that screenshot. So if you use different wallpaper for dark mode and different one for the light mode, you will have to load both of them, take two screenshots of each mode and load them right here. So you have light and dark. Once you have done this, all you have to do now is add the widget. So let's head on to the widgets panel and add the widget from this app. Now, of course, you will have all different sizes, the large one, the medium and the smaller one. So let's just go ahead and add this. So you can see we have added it right there. It doesn't look that good because, of course, we need to tap and hold here, tap edit widget and choose the position. So we have here middle right tap right there and there it goes. It's perfect. You can have a blank space right there and you can see how good that looks. Again, you can add any of the widget, widget sizes and have any blank space you want on the home screen of your device without a label at all. Compressor Pro is the next app for the video. Now, this is a paid app. Currently, it is free. It's on sale. It's free. So if you just try to download it right now, it might be still free when you're watching this video. It allows you to compress larger files that you might have on your device, like pictures or videos that you have on your camera roll. Just load any of them and you can go ahead and compress them with this app. So let's just load one. So here we have a picture. It's at around four megabytes and you can choose here the dimensions and also the quality to which you want to compress. So if we just choose medium quality and we can choose dimensions on big you can see now from 4.6 it's 2.9 and you can see, see right here the dimension is still quite high so we can even go lower there and still have a great quality picture tap right here to compress the file and just like that it will compress the file and it gives you the option here to delete the original one from here so you don't have to have duplicates of course and then just find out which ones you have compressed and delete them you can just delete them from here so tap on delete original and you can delete it from here next up is mac tracker now this is one of my favorite apps it's really really cool and if you're into apple stuff and apple devices you will love this app it allows us to basically find out anything you want to know about apple devices and history as well now first of all we have here a search bar you can search for any device there or we can go to current models. Now, right here, what you will see is all of Apple's devices and their most current models. So for every device, you can see right here, which is the current model. And what you can do is, of course, tap on one of these and it will show you all kinds of details regarding that model and that device. So you can see everything you need to know is right here. Of course, you can just go ahead and copy the link to these information from here so everything you need to know about a device is here and what you can do is also from here go to this device it will give you the same information here regarding the device that you're currently using and you have the app installed on that device so you can see right here everything that you need to know even the video formats audio formats of course the processors and things like that connection you can see the power right here it shows you how much power it uses which battery it has and which adapters you can use with this so it's really really cool and you will have here all the history so you can see from like different devices to software we can go like ios right here and it shows us all the different ios versions and of course you can take a look at the history of everything from apple here is an app from apple apple support i know a lot of people might know about this app but i think it's overlooked it's really really useful so you need to have this on your device and you can find out a lot about your device now one thing that's really cool right here is that you can check anything from for your device so if you just tap on more right here you can see you can find help for basically everything on your device and this especially right here battery life if you go to battery performance and tap on check now it will show you the current battery health of your device because if you're just using the settings app that actually is not updated that frequently that the battery health 
on the settings app it will only update when you update your device or when you reset it actually when you actually reset it yeah i said uh, good so when you reset it and when you update it otherwise it will stay like that but with this app you will have here all the time the current battery health and tap on continue right here it will of course show you like different tips and things that you can do in order to maximize the battery life on your device but not just battery you can basically find here anything you want any problems that you have on your device you can just go ahead and find the best options for you on this app Next up is advanced search. It allows you to easily make an advanced search for something really, really specific. So let's say I want to search for the iPhone 14. I can say there iPhone 14, but I can just go ahead and choose the right here last updated. So I want to choose only results that have happened this past month. So I can just go right there, zero one. So from the 1st of May, right there, here we go we're good now tap on search and it will show you the results only from this last month this is really really cool and of course you can open it directly on safari from here so it has a lot of options you can choose related sites file type if you want just a specific file type you want to find something you can just go ahead and you can also set here none of these words so you can basically exclude different words from your search so really advanced app to make a specific search you want and last but not least word bucket this is a simple dictionary app but it allows you to basically use any dictionary you want and it's super simple to use you just look up any word you want and here we'll have your history so here i have a word i have looked up and you can see we have the apple dictionary right there if you tap on the side here we'll have different dictionaries which of course you can enable and disable from here and if you tap on more dictionaries of course it will show you all the dictionaries that you will be able to actually download to your device you can simply download them by tapping the arrow right there and then you can use them of course to find different words you need with this app so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching these are 10 amazing iphone apps that i believe it's worth downloading on your device right now thank you guys for watching the video if you want to download any of the apps make sure you check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video